Dan, it was a great performance in the midweek game at Watford. Hopefully that can spur the team on for success in the league. Yeah, definitely. It was a, a game we, we kind of had a free hit at. As you know, Watford are in the league above us and, and we played really well. I can't fault the boys on the night and, and the result was amazing to go with it. So performance and result is, is what we've been looking for and, and it's what we've got now. So very happy, very pleased with it. You fully deserve the win. and uh, Hopefully that rhythm can continue at Morecambe. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully that's that's what we aim to do. And, and every time we go and we play, we aim to put on a good performance and, and get the points at the end of the game. So definitely we'll be looking to do that this weekend. There was a real confidence about the boys. You know, even though the start's been a, a little bit slow, it didn't show on the night. Yeah, you know, um, the gaff always tells us to, to play our way, to be confident in our abilities. We're here for a reason and and that's what we've done. And I think I think that game against Watford was just everything just clicking and everything slowly coming together. And there were a lot of changes made as well. A bit maybe it was always going to take a little bit of time for MK to, to kind of gel together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, with so many new players, including myself coming here, um, you know, when you you people watch us on the pitch, they don't know everything that comes into it in, in terms of people moving and, and everyone being unsettled. But now is, is a time where everyone's starting to settle down. The boys are amazing. They've welcomed me fantastically. So every, I feel settled and I'm ready to kick on. And for you personally, you were up against um, someone who was playing for Barcelona B last season and an Ivory Coast international because you were playing as the the, the right side at centre back. You you cope very well. Yeah, I thought I had a I had a I had a decent game and and it doesn't matter who you're playing against at the end of the day. It's just do your job and and be confident in your ability at all times. And that's something that I I try to play with confidence and and just try to help the team as much as I can. You fit in well in that centre back position. Is that is that a position that you like there? Yeah, it's a position I played before. So whether it's right side of the three, right back or or right wing back, it's all positions I've played and all positions I'm comfortable playing in. So whatever the, the gaffer needs is where I'm happy to play. And for you to join MK Dons, I mean having come from Brentford who play a you know particular style passing brand. MK Dons feels like probably the right fit for you, doesn't it? Because there there aren't going to be met many better footballing teams in League One. Yeah, hundred percent. It was something we we noticed straight away, and and as soon as we heard about the interest and and looked at the style that the team plays, it was it was a no brainer for me, and and I'm, I'm just happy to be here to continue my development. First loan spell for you, isn't it? I think. Yeah, first loan spell. So it's a, an opportunity to, you know, get get to grips with kind of the adults game rather than say under twenty three football. It's a completely different ball game. Yeah, hundred percent. I've learned a lot since I've been here in a short amount of time. I feel I've I've grown a lot as well and shown myself more and more as as, as the games progress. So as long as um the team keeps doing well and I keep doing well within that, look I couldn't be happier. I suppose lots of people to learn from as well. I'm sure Dean Lewington and Warren O'Hora and some of the other guys will have, you know, given you lots of advice and, and given you, you know, great ex experience and told you what, what's likely to occur, that type of thing. Yeah, definitely. Both of them have been amazing amongst so many others in the group. I think there's a, there's a, there's a lot of young players, but there's a good mix of, of older pros as well who know what they're doing. So it's, it's been great to, to learn off them in, in training and in games and get little tips off them to, on how to improve my game. And for you, you, you've been played for England at pretty much every youth level. I mean, how do you see your career progressing? You just carry on developing as you get older? Yeah, definitely. That's definitely how. Um, for me, it was just this season coming out, playing games and, and showing everyone else what I'm about is really what, I'm, what I wanted to do. And... And I think Milton Keynes was the best place for me to do it. So just definitely playing games and showing my qualities and, and improving on things that I need to improve on as well to take my game to the next level. Just a final one for me. When when young players go out on loan, it's not make or break, but it gives it gives clubs a real sense of what that character is like, how they're going to adjust to playing, you know, kind of League One football where it might be a little bit more rough and tumble do, do you get that sense as well that you've really got to prove yourself if you are to, to make those next steps 
Yeah, no, 100%. I feel you have to prove yourself all the time, every day. And no matter where you are, if I was back at Brentford or playing in the B team or training with the first team or wherever I am, I feel like I have to prove myself. So in that sense, I've just got to keep doing what I'm doing and, and football's a game where you're judged and it's what, it's what I've signed up for. So I'm happy to prove myself in every opportunity I get. Cool. Nice one. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Then obviously coming, you know, to, to MK Dons on loan, as, as Jeff mentioned there, it's your first loan. Um, but not not just that, but it's your first, you know, you were making your first professional appearances. How proud a moment was that for you? No, it was it was amazing for me and my, my family to be there as well. Um, it was, the, it's everything I've worked for for so long. So no, I'm, I was over the moon on that day and and the, the performance to go with it against Cambridge wasn't the best, but we, where we were, developing and, and working towards a greater um a greater performance so look, I was just happy to to on a personal level on that day you say your family were there or were they were they in the in the in the crowd there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh fantastic how were they react how was their reaction no nah, they were very happy over the moon uh, my mum my and my dad and my little sister so it was amazing and from there, it feels like you've you've gone from strength to strength, as as, as Jeff also mentioned. You know, playing at centre back the other night, I thought it was probably the best performance we've seen you playing so far. And you know, it does feel like you're you're now getting your feet under the table. And you know, there's a decent relation, a decent sort of rivalry almost with with you and Henry Lawrence for that for that spot at, at right wing back. But you know, it, it looks like you're enjoying yourself out there as well. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I try to to play with freedom and and to express myself every time I play. So you know, um. I'm a young player, but I wanna. I don't wanna be seen as a young player when I'm playing. So that's. I just try to play with a chip on my shoulder, but also try to imp express myself every time I step on a pitch. Top man, thank you so much. Thank you. Since coming to the Duns, the team has switched between a, a back four and a back three centre backs uh, with the two wing backs. Um, which do you find the most comfortable playing in as a traditional right back or more advanced attacking wing back? I've played both as many as each other. Look for last season the whole time with with England. I played as a as a right wing back. I filled in at right centre back as well. So and then before that as well for Brentford and I've played in at right back in a four at the back. So I've I've really played in all all three of those positions. So uh, it's really a, a case of where the manager wants me to play and where he thinks I'll be best. But for me, in terms of comfortability, I'm happy to do all three. Cheers, Daniel. Thank you. Hi, Daniel. Uh, Daniel, just on the makeup of the MK Don squad at the moment, there's an awful lot of young players uh, on loan at the moment. Uh, you have the likes of Henry Lawrence on loan from Chelsea, 20. Yourself on loan from Brentford, 19. Louis Barry on loan from Aston Villa, 19. Does that make it easier for you to settle when there's a few of you the same age coming from Premier League clubs uh, to the one uh, club in MK Dons and learning your trade? Yeah, 100%. Um, like I, knew the, I knew the boys before, the two boys you mentioned before I arrived here, so... It was just a, a case of coming in and reconnecting and making sure that we don't also stay away from the main group and getting in with the other boys and reconnecting with the whole group. So, I mean, it, it helped to settle in because you see some familiar faces. But at the end of the day, we all had to make our own friendships and connections with the rest of the boys. And probably that was the most encouraging thing about the victory over against Watford. It was a very young team that was out there. An awful lot of players under the age of 23, 24. Uh, you'd like of Dara Burns, yourself, uh, Dawson, uh, Ducey as well there. Uh, even even Will O'Hora, who would be considered an experienced enough, Warren O'Hora, considered an experienced enough player, uh, only uh, 23 as well. So to be the, an established championship side like Watford uh, with a young team as well in the League Cup, it must have given you an awful lot of confidence. No, it was amazing. It was an amazing performance from the boys and I can't fault anyone on the night. Our effort and our application was, was great. And look, whether the squad's a young squad or or more experienced squad, we'll all try to play our way, and we'll all try to to do what the manager tells us, and that's what's what we done on the night. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that.
And what did, did Daniel Frank say anything to you, uh, Daniel, going out on loan? Did he give you any bit of advice? Yeah, um, he just said to me that it, it's it's a loan for me to develop, and it's a something that he'll he's keeping his eyes on. So I I speak to representatives from Brentford after every game and after every everything I do here. So it's something for me to develop and 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 to keep working on my game and. Everything I'm doing here is closely looked at to make sure that I'm performing the best that I can while I'm here. And also to make sure that um, this season will be a good season for me to continue my progression. And I suppose, Daniel, it's on an upward curve for the MK Dons after a poor start, a victory and a draw four points in the last two games. And hopefully you'll be hoping to carry that form against Morecambe this week. Yeah, no, definitely. Look, we... We had a great performance on Tuesday and we just want to carry that momentum. I know they, they played well in their game and got a, and got a result in the same cup, but look, it's a it's a game that we'll obviously try and win and we'll obviously try and play our way. And we're, we're high in spirits at the moment, so just want to carry that into the next game and, and hopefully build momentum going forward.